Welcome ladies and gents back to the monthly for December 2017 and by the gods, I cannot believe that it's December already. I've hardly done a thing. Don't really have much to talk about this month, but we do have a massive Q&A as last uh, month's monthly got 510 comments. Let's see if we can beat it this month. But there is one question I keep getting, which is a fair enough question, and that is, what's the difference between the lore series for the Elder Scrolls and the detective series for the Elder Scrolls? And that's something I ask myself quite often, actually. Essentially, with the lore series, lore is confirmed stuff. It's things we can read about and lay down as a uh, confirmed foundation. Whereas the detective series is more asking questions and coming up with conclusions based on evidence, rather than actually anything being confirmed in the law. So that's basically the difference. If you have to ask heaps of questions, it's a detective video. If it's just straight facts, it's a law video. Of course, we can expect more of both of those series coming up this month. But for now, let's get into the Q&A. And if you do have any questions you would like me to answer, of course, leave them down in the comments below. So what do you think about the upcoming Lord of the Rings TV show? I've never heard of it, but uh, the sound of it makes me scared. Camel, what games do you play off screen that aren't in videos? Um, Hearthstone, Elder Scrolls Legends, Bit of World of Warcraft, that's about it. What do you think of Web Vultures? How would you make the flying system? What do I think of it? I think it's in the lore. I would make the flying system work. Same way they made dragons work. And it, again, it, it just works. The same way they made uh, levitation work in Morrowind. Is Oblivion worth playing if you already have 100% in Skyrim? Yes, just play every Elder Scrolls game ever. Have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons? What do you think about it? I haven't played it, but I spent four hours making uh, my character sheet which then never got played. In Fallout New Vegas, Obsidian included six DLCs. Do you believe for the next Elder Scrolls they should include about how many they show in New Vegas? The big problem, like I would love to have more expansions in the Elder Scrolls games, except the biggest problem is places to set them. In Fallout, you like, you can just go wherever there's, you know, 50 states, and then you're only covering a game in a small area of a state. In the Elder Scrolls though, there's nine provinces. Uh, so if you're gonna set an expansion somewhere else, you kind of have to like, like take up space from what would be another game. So it's a bit awkward, but the more expansions, the better. Do you think in a future Fallout game, you should be able to be a ghoul? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't care how they implement it, but they should do it. Hey, Camel, hope you are well. What monitor do you use when you play these games? Thank you, bro. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And the monitors are Acer. I thought they were BenQ. Huh, how about that? What are these things? Acer XB270. HU, they're 1440p, 144Hz, G-Sync, all the good stuff. Camel, Cheesy Mite? I've never had Cheesy Mite. In case you don't know what that is, it's Veggie Mite mixed with cheese. And in my humble opinion, anything that requires a cheese to be a liquid at room temperature can go fuck itself. What do you think of Dream Theater? They're Nightmare Theater. Do you think Bethesda should hire a team of modders for Creation Club instead of them doing contracting work? I think instead of doing Creation Club, what Bethesda should do is hire all the modders and then get them to work on actual content, lore content, like official releases. Because my biggest problem with Creation Club is that none of the content released is lore friendly. None of it matters. None of it I can apply to any of my videos. But if they got these same dudes to actually work on like an official expansion pack or something. That's a wonderful idea. Hey Camel, thanks for making such a great uh, such a great video. So my question was, what do you think is the most interesting Elder Scrolls race and why? They would have to be the Dwemer. The reason why I mean their entire race is the most mysterious thing of all time. And even then, um, no one can actually trace their connection to the Aldma, which was the original race of elves that the Ultima, Bosma, Dunma, Kaima, whatever came from. Except for the Sinister Lulls, but uh, I've got a video on that coming out very soon. But with the Dwemer, there's no connection. No one knows really, they just kind of came out of nowhere. But their name is Aldmeris, so... But it's the Dwemer. Can you at least tell us which hold the next detective video will be in? I think you mean curating curious curiosity video. And no, I can't. I don't know. Who knows? No one knows. If you had to choose between Skyrim and Morrowind to never have existed and take all the fan base and overall milestones the games has made with it, which one would you choose? Uh, get rid of Skyrim. The basis that Morrowind uh, gave to the lore is much more important than Skyrim did. Camel, why is American beer like having sex in a canoe? Because they're both fucking close to water. Look, I can confirm, every time I've had American beer, it's fucking disgusting. It tastes like uh, dirty soda water. And I don't know, I suppose that's just what 
is going on in America. Dirty soda water. If you could pick the next city for Fallout 5, which city would you pick? Do you think Fallout could ever have a game slash expansion outside of the USA? I think it could. They probably won't because they don't need to. They've got so much room to play with already. And um, the next city, I don't I have no idea, man. I'm not particularly familiar with um, America. America <laughs> fuck yeah! Hey Camel, where do you want the Elder Scrolls 6 to take place? I'm hoping for Black Marsh or elsewhere. Either of those are fine, I would just prefer someone that isn't a... I was gonna say isn't a human province, but then Hammerfell would be really cool. Sorry, there's something dust on the lens. Dirty. <laughs> I'm the cleaner. Yeah, wherever. Dude, at this point, I don't give a shit where it is. Just fucking release it. Q&A, will you be doing an Easter egg video for the Elder Scrolls 6? Yes. Hey buddy, are you living in German? No. Do you buy the Heart of Lorcan theory for the Dwemer disappearance? Yes. Camel works. Is there a word in Skyrim or the entire The Elder Scrolls universe for the Aurora Borealis? Well, in uh, The Elder Scrolls, they're called Auroras. Um, on Earth, the Aurora Borealis is in the Northern Hemisphere and the Aurora Australis is in the Southern Hemisphere. And given we're not on Earth in The Elder Scrolls games, they're just called Auroras. How long have you been growing your hair for? 10,000 years. I had a shaved head at the end of 2014. So 15, 16, 17. Like, probably like a week or three years. Would you fuck an Argonian? You gotta go there once, I mean, come on. Thoughts on iDubs? Um, love the man. Send in the f fuck. I wanna be gay! Will you ever play Endera? Whatever the fuck that big thing's called. Maybe one day. The problem is, again, like the Creation Club, as awesome as it is, it's not an official release, therefore none of its content is confirmed Laura Law friendly, and I, you know, most of my content is based on that kind of stuff. So it's very difficult to play something that I can then not use for videos. Hey Camel, would you like to see more crazy stuff like the weaponized spiders in uh, future Elder Scrolls games, or do you think that was just a nice gimmick? Greetings from Germany. Yeah, no, more, more stuff like that's cool. That's basically what the Elder Scrolls is, weird stuff. We've all got swords and shields and bows and spells, but um, you know, throwing weaponized spiders, that is uh, something very Elder Scrolls-y, and I'd like to see more of it. What's your favorite story? Also, I thoroughly enjoy your channel, keep up the good work. My favorite story is the story of this channel hitting a million subscribers. <laughs> what happened to Drew of Funch Muppet? He's not in videos anymore. Cleaning. I actually asked him this like two days ago, and apparently he writes a lot of the videos, he writes all the scripts. Will you continue Elder Scrolls 6 discussion? Yes. Could you consider making videos about the Witcher universe? Maybe? I don't know what it is with The Witcher, but like Skyrim comes out and half the internet is Skyrim stuff. Witcher comes out and just no one really made videos on it. And I don't know what it is, because I've spoken to people about this as well, and they're like, we don't. Can't really pinpoint what it is, but Witcher videos just don't work. I can't pinpoint it, but I can confirm that it's a phenomenon that happens. Have you ever played Lord of the Rings online? Nope. Can you please do CCC on Falkreath Hold? I can, and I'm pretty sure, besides the Solstheim episode, that that will be the biggest one. I'm interested in your comment about Bethesda's, um, Bethesda cannot tell stories too well. I'm thinking of doing an MA thesis in literature discussing the Skyrim narrative. I have not honed down the exact angle that I will take. I particularly enjoyed your analysis of the situation in Rorik's Dead, and I noticed similarities in the narrative of Morthal and Falkreath. Why do you say that Bethesda cannot tell a story too well? Is it a particular writer? Are they not well versed in Norse slash Germanic mythology and literature. I have no idea how they're versed. I have no idea who their writers are now. I do know that they did have a writer called Michael Kirkbride. I don't even think he was a writer. He, he was something else. He was like a an environmental artist, I think. And then he was also credited as an additional writer. But everything he's written and everything connected to his writings is all the parts of the Elder Scrolls lore where you're like, holy shit. He, he in my opinion, is kind of one of the reasons the Elder Scrolls is sick. And he doesn't work for them anymore. And in all the games where he worked less and less on them, their story and interestingness is like... Pfft. Uh, Bethesda Game Studios' environmental storytelling's great. Like, you walk through a forest and find a skeleton, you're like, oh my god, what happened? And there's like some clues as to what happened. But in terms of main story, like the companion quest line, I'm just like, I, I want to kill myself. This is the most boring shit I've ever fucking experienced. The bard's quest line, they're like, go and find a drum. Go and find a flute. It's a bit like, uh, If you want to do a thesis on something, study Morrowind's main story. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. <laughs> you have achieved your destiny. 
You are free. Clearly, you are an idiot. Camel, would you ever consider making Witcher videos such as an Easter egg video? Probably Easter egg video. Yeah, other videos, again, they just don't work for some reason. Hey, Camel, could you do a video on the Snow Elves? Yes. Yes, I could. What do you think gives uh, the letters from a friend to the Dragonborn actually might make a good CCC video if you... It would be a detective video, and I think I know who it is, and I will make a video on it. Do you like Ibises, and have you been to Tasmania? Yes and yes. Is that a robe or a sweater you were wearing in the last month's Q&A? I have no idea, but I don't own a robe, so it was a sweater. What are you most afraid of Bethesda doing in the Elder Scrolls 6? Making it tied into other shit? It, making it online or multiplayer or full of microtransactions or uh, the reason they're doing this creation club thing is so that when they release the Elder Scrolls 6 they introduce some system where you can only use creation club that's what I'm afraid of Elder Scrolls detective is one of the mo is one of my favorite series on YouTube how often can I expect to see these beautiful beautiful specimens well now with the law series and the detective series together I plan on releasing like one each a month just because I usually take like a week to make each one. So, you know, two weeks out of a month is a lot to release very little content. Uh, do you like it hot or cold? If you're re regarding to the weather, make it cold, please. What? He likes it cold. What do you think of an Elder Scrolls game based completely in various planes of oblivion? It could be interesting or it could get a bit boring. It might get a bit weird because the planes of oblivion are pretty weird. Me, 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 me. How do you come up with your puns? Well, I'm actually an X-Man and I just have a really shitty ability. What have you made a six hour video of you just reading comments? I dare you. It'd be mass suicide, basically. What happens when uh, two races procreate? Is it like the Bretons or it simply doesn't happen? So when two races in the Elder Scrolls universe are uh, intermingle, for example, let's say an Imperial and a Dark Elf get together, Traditionally, what's meant to happen is the child will be the race of the mother. There are cases where this isn't the case, uh, such as Umaral the Undying, or whatever his name is. His father was one of the Daedra and his mother was an alien and he was born in this kind of like demigod Hercules. He wasn't just an alien, he was like this half divine thing. Uh, but then there's cases like the Bretons where two races, you know, interbred for uh, uh, hundreds of years and then it made another kind of in-between race. So it's pretty blurry and there's cases of it working one way and working another way, so uh, I don't know. Do you think Creation Club will make its way over to the Elder Scrolls 6 when it's finally announced or that they might cut content to be sold later in a cash shop? Hey, well, again, I think they should get these modders and instead of making them make, you know, here's the Doom armor for Skyrim or whatever, get them all together and make them make an official DLC. Work with Bethesda's dudes so uh, more can get done faster. It's like they've got Bethesda's guys making content that's law friendly and part of the canon universe. Then they have all these other guys that are making stuff that means nothing to the overall story. It's like, dude, just fucking move these guys here and then we have a bigger, better story. That's a great idea. Let's go. Yes, and, uh, dude, 100%. This is all, like, I reckon all this Creation Club shit is testing grounds for some greater New World Order uh, modding scheme for the Elder Scrolls 6, which is very scary and I hope isn't the case. Have you seen The Artist Mode Alive? I've seen them several times and I once bought a skateboard off this singer and he came to my house and then a leech bit my foot and that's about all I remember. What extinct race from the Elder Scrolls is the most interesting to you and why are they? Let me put it this way. About... Eight hours to 24 hours after this video comes out, I will be uploading a law video covering this exact. And why are they? Um, interdimensional race with an erased history. That's why they're interesting. Fallout 4 had a voice protagonist. Would you welcome a voiced main character in the new Elder Scrolls? Uh, I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. Name is fuck you. Do you prefer Skyrim or Fallout 4? Skyrim. Nice curtains. <laughs> Thanks, uh, thank you very much. Uh, would you have a large objection to a multiplayer mode in the Elder Scrolls 6? Yes. Fucking do not put that in. Who were some of your metal bands you've seen live that put an amazing show on? Lamb of God, every time I've seen them, you just like this, it sounds like the studio version. And a band called Sun? And even if you listen to Sun and you're like, what the fuck is this? Go and see them live because it's like, it's like 90% a physical experience and not a sound thing. They just have this stone hinge of amps and they they just don't even know, like massage every atom in your body with frequencies. Camel, will you make some more Elder Scrolls Detective Oblivion Edition? Yes, I will. I see like four unique spell guides. Where's the rest of them? Uh, they're coming. Eventually. Where's that thing? 
You ready for this? So I've, I've got a list of all the Skyrim guides that I still have to do. All the pink ones are the ones that have been completed. This will give you some idea of how many there are to do. Yeah. You see how the pink ones make up like 10% of the page? Do you think that Obsidian should make an Elder Scrolls game? Yes, I do. I think uh, Bethesda should buy Obsidian or Zenimax should buy Obsidian and they should do what they do with Fallout New Vegas. They should, well, Bethesda's working on a, say, Fallout game. Obsidian could be working on an Elder Scrolls game and vice versa. And we just do it. Just means double the games. And um, I also think it's really good when two companies are, ki are doing the same thing because it means they're competing and they're constantly putting, like, uh, achieving better and better things and they can have to like contest each other constantly. If you had to give up the Elder Scrolls V for another game, what would it be, Morrowind? You no longer bear the burden of prophecy. If you were a character in the Elder Scrolls, what race would you be? I would be Vivek, and my backstory would be I'm Vivek. Would you like to see a bigger variety of Khajiit forms in the next Elder Scrolls game? So that piece of the lore, I don't care about it, but because it is the lore, yes, they should put it in. What's your opinion on the Adpocalypse? Uh, it's pretty bad. I, okay, if there's a beheading video or something, I get it. Don't put an ad on that. But their uh, system they have in place is a piece of shit. Yeah, okay, so we're a YouTuber from Australia called Deligracy. She does sim stuff. No swearing, it's G-rated, it's all muffins and rainbows and cats and dogs. And every video gets demonetized. And you have other guys with uh, swearing, offensive content, blah blah blah, whatever not a video is touched. I get it if they want to implement rules, but they need to implement them consistently. Otherwise, it's just like, it's like, what the fuck rules am I following here? What is your favorite Fallout uh, New Vegas? Are you gonna, yes. Who would you be if you lived in Tamriel Vivek? What, that hair, it's it's the most amazing thing ever. Oh, thanks. What do you think is the best RPG? Witcher, yeah, it's uh, Witcher 3. Well, it depends. I never liked, I never uh, role play characters. I don't like make some special dude and give him a backstory and all that shit. And because I don't do that, when it comes to the Witcher 3 where you're just given a dude, that's perfectly fine by me and my uh, expectations and enjoyments of playing a role playing game. How long does it take to make a thumbnail? Uh, that varies, but I, I think I spend a lot more time on thumbnails than most other people do. And uh, this, I apply the same philosophy as I do with everything else. It takes as long as it takes to make what it needs to make to be made. Don't you forget it. What is the next curating Curious Curiosities? Preferably the Reach. The Reach has already been done and I don't know what the next one is. What province do you want the Elder Scrolls 6 to take place in? I want High Rock. Again, I really don't care at this point. I just want them to release a new game. Uh, hi mate, I'm tired. That makes two of us. Really pleased to a Morrowind Spear video. I know what you're talking about and maybe, maybe one day. What do you think of uh, Todd Howard's excuse for leaving spellcrafting out of Skyrim? Said it was too spreadsheety. And do you think it should slash will come back in the Elder Scrolls 6? Yes, I'm a numbers man. Give me more big spreadsheets of numbers. Oh, and that was the last question. So again, if you do have any questions you would like me to answer, please leave it down in the comments below. Hopefully we can surpass 510 comments, which last month's monthly uh, received. So with that said, there's a giant storm coming. My battery's running out. I can't think of any other excuses to end this video early. So <laughs> it was good seeing you. I'll see you next month or in the next video, which will be in eight to 24 hours, which yeah, I'll see you then.